Alola, welcome to the Wolf Pack. My name is Sanchez A3, and welcome back to all this time to Minecraft Story Mode. After all this time, it's been so long since I can't believe it's been this long since the last time I've uploaded since I recent since the last video on this game. That's why on this game I've actually uploaded it. It was from episode six. A portal to Mr. Mitch was actually my favorite, one of my favorite, my number one favorite bit, uh, one part of the episode in this whole game out of all of them. This one because all some of the best, my favorite YouTubers are in there, and kind of some new ones that were new to me. Anyway, so this video is we're gonna start playing. We're gonna start off playing episode seven, which is called Access and I. All this whole game could be probably even one day. We'll probably end up making a very great Minecraft book here for you, for everyone that's still in the Minecraft and this game still to read it, to read off there on the free time, you know. So the people who made Minecraft Story Mode Season One, please do me a favor and write previously and this in the form of a book. Previously on Minecraft Story, Minecraft mode. story mode. Yeah, a little bit. I'll tell you what, last time. That glow. That enchantment is the work of a very old group of builders. A group so old that they existed even before the Order of the Stone. Oh. There's a lot of portals. Just notice that, guys. Imagine there actually being a portal made of redstone blocks to redstone. I mean, not to redstone. I mean, to the one place where Pama is in, to be in this video. At some point, the at the moment. Telltale Games presents Minecraft Store Mode Season One. <laughs> Error, error, and error, and error. Petra, where 
are you going? May not be guideposts, but someone must be able to tell us how to navigate these stupid portals. Portals okay. on This one's redstone. Redstone means smart people. Hopefully smart enough to help us find the way home. At the very least, it's got to be better than Fire World. Come on, Petra, you're not thinking clearly right now. Yeah, you're frustrated and tired. Just, just calm down, okay? Calm down? <laughs> Maybe I just want a little time away from you guys. So what are you saying here, huh? That you've made up your mind, you're just going to go through this portal and that's it? Maybe I am. Maybe I'm just saying that I'm tired of Jesse calling the shots every single time. Whoa. Yes. Whoa. Someone has to be the leader, and that someone is me. Really? Oh, I don't remember when we all voted to elect you the boss of me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everybody calm down. I'm sure Jesse didn't really mean that. Right, Jesse? No way, I meant exactly what I said. Yeah? Well, so did I. Forget this. I am out of here. Screw you, Patrick. Well, that could have gone better. Shut up, Lucas. Hey, that was on her, not me. She flew off the handle, got all hot-headed. She's tired, Jesse. We all are. And, well, you could have been a bit more sensitive. Oh, shut up, Ivor. We can't just let her walk away, right? No. No, we can't. Come on, guys. Let's go find her. Okay, so we're going to bring up uh, a new mom to some new place. Whenever portal we go! Into God's who knows where. Man, I, love my, I miss my armor, you know? If they could add my armor in this game, I picked from this game, and this game <coughs> I in, my, in the actual one right now, let me wear it. I would definitely always want to wear it, and then as long as I get extra copies of it, that's the real thing. Any of you guys see Petra? I don't Not know. Not yet. She can't have gotten too far, though. Yeah. Hang on. I'm going to write down our entry point. Hey, Lucas, I've been meaning to ask you, what's that? Oh, it's, uh, it's just a, you know, a book I picked up back at the White Pumpkin's place. It's all about different biomes and stuff. <laughs> Great idea, Lucas. So, what's next on the agenda, anyway? Fine, Petra, it's a pretty right. cool new place. Who knows what could be around the next corner? Keep an eye out for the exit portal. I don't want to get stuck here if the worst happens. Ah, you mean pumpkin face killers, surprise fire worlds, monsters? Yeah, any of that stuff. Who knows what this world has in store for us? Hmm, would you look at that? Sand. It looks like some sort of road. Going to write about it in your little journal? A road, huh? Is that natural? I don't think so. Well, if I were Petra here on my own and saw a road, I'd probably follow it. I mean, that makes sense, right? Hey, Petra was the one who ditched us, remember? Maybe she should just find her own way home. It's not like we could just forget about her. Gotcha. Your team. Let's give the road a shot, then. I don't want to see her now. Just forget Petra, can we? Sand. Clay. And more sand. Hey, is that Petra? Yeah, I think it is. I know you're all mad and everything, but we should see if she needs help. Yeah, yeah, okay. Petra? Shh, get down! I thought I told you not to follow me. Well, you can blame Lucas. He said I wasn't allowed to abandon you. What are you looking at anyway? Look. Whoa. Right? A zombie. So weird. Why isn't it on fire? Exactly what I was wondering. Maybe that's this world's thing. Zombies and monsters come out in the daytime? That would be crazier than anything else we've seen. Oh, I hope not. That would be the worst thing ever. Oh, come on. Worse than Fireworld? Or the Psycho Pumpkin's mansion?
was just one zombie. What was the problem? Nuh uh. That thing was like super zombie. Stronger, tougher, faster. I hope there's not something wrong with me. Because that would be really, really inconvenient. I don't know, Petra. Maybe you've just lost a step. Do I seem <coughs> any weaker to you? No. I just. Why'd can't you punch figure me? out how that zombie was so strong? Well, that seems about right. I don't know about you guys, but I'd really like to figure out a better way to handle these super zombies. Can we fight them? No! Peaceful if we kept as far away from them as possible. You know, just to be sure. Hmm. You. What on earth is that thing? It like definitely seems redstone ish, right? I know what those are. They look like little mines. Fascinating. Maybe those redstone things would make the zombies so blank. Makes sense to me. I'm starting to wonder if we should... Oh! Ah! Ah! What is that? Attack! Finally! Ah! I was hoping for a chance to observe yeah. their behavior. Yeah. Yeah. I guess you must have scared them off, Jesse. Yeah, for now. Come back the way we came from. This might sound crazy, but... I feel like they're trying to lead us somewhere. You're right. That does sound crazy. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Lucas. These mobs might not be intentionally leading us anywhere. So if we're going to follow them, we should be very, very careful. Okay, so that's part one. I like the mod, the zombies are being controlled by these redstone chip, control chips. Well, imagine me building all this in, my, in the actual game. That would take a long time to build. I don't see any people anywhere. I've heard of quiet, but this is like mega quiet. Stay alert and don't let your guard down for one second. you guys there would be redstone. Nice. Speaking of redstone, I'd like to investigate those things on the back of the zombies' heads. Ooh, yeah. I want to see those too. Don't do it. Wait, what are you doing, Ivor? What's it look like? I'm going to rip this redstone thing out of this zombie's head. For science. Yeah, too. that be sleeping or something. It'll be easy. What are you waiting for, Ivor? That thing's not gonna pry itself out. That's me fun to watch. Are you okay? Uh -huh. like it shocked me. Yes, well, at least we learned something new. They can't be removed. Not with our bare hands, anyway. Yeah, by water. Look, there's someone. Think he's friendly? Hello? 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 Nope. Nothing for me either. I don't like this. Something doesn't feel right. Hang back a bit, guys. I'm gonna go talk to him. Okay, just be careful. Yeah. I mean, there's still a lot about this place we don't know. Okay, we're gonna look at some chicken. Look at the sun. Welcome to Crown Mesa, population 1063. This is weird. 
over a thousand people, not anymore from the looks of it. I warn you, guys. Jesse, how goes the survey? It goes weirdly. I'm convinced something strange happened in this place. I just don't know exactly what yet. I'll let you know if I find anything. Okay. So we're in a weird world. Not bad. Just look at this view. It's not bad, actually. Look at these. What are those banners? How's it going, chickens? Uh huh, that's nice. That's creepy. Wow, even chickens have those redstone things in their heads. It looks like they make them move in perfect unison, but why? Jeez, I wonder why. Well, anyways, unfortunately, I'm going to be me, and that's me for this video, guys. This. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I'll catch up on this video next time. But until then, thank you all so much for watching. Until then, peace out, and bye, guys.